here we are, start off with the Cayman range, consists of two models, a slightly shorter one, the Cayman, which has a 400mm barrel, despite the fact it's only this big, because the barrel goes all the way back to there, very compact mechanism, air cylinder is in there, 195cc, uh, very good shot count in sub-12. This is the Cayman X, which is the bigger brother. Again, because it's facing the other way, the barrel comes all the way back to here. That's a 520 mil barrel and 285 cc's of air. So we've got all that. Again, massive shot count. Uses a nice compact little magazine. Put that there for you. We've got 12 shots in 177, 10 shots in 22, and 8 shots in 25. Crossbar style safety just above the trigger. Adjustable height on the butt pad. It's a very solid, reliable, and quiet in sub 12 rifle. And uh, to be honest, the best ever shot I made was with one of these, Cayman X. Okay, nice. So I'm very fond of them. Compact little pup, love it. Quite unusual looking, aren't they? The full wood. Yes, the clamshell style sock is a bit of a Marmite polarizing feature. Yeah. Some people love it, some people don't. But most people change their opinion when they shoulder it yeah. because the ergonomics are superb. The balance point on both rifles is pretty much just around the pistol grip. So on the shoulder for freestanding shots, arguably one of the best on the market. Right. Really rate them. Um, right. was, there was probably something else I was going to say, but it has completely gone out of my head now. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, three colors available. You've got your forest laminate. Yeah natural wood as they call it which is a beach stock with a bit of a stain to it and there is also as you can see in the poster there oh, synthetic. it's not synthetic it's black painted wood oh okay a bit different and a bit lighter because synthetic can be rather heavy okay and one of the things that's nice about these is that when you look at them because you've got all that clamshell stock people think they're going to be heavy but the reality is they're actually very light okay so okay. lovely rifle Next we've got the new kit on the block, which is the crate. Again, available in three sizes. 400 mil barrel, so same barrel as the Cayman. 300 cc carbon fiber bottle. Being a bottle gun, there is an adapter. If you wanted to go nuts, you can put two bottles on there. Give you a ludicrous shot count. 60 cc plenum. The main USB of these, feature, of these rifles is the adjustable regulator valve hammer system. It's a rifle where you can tune the rifle to your chosen ammunition rather than finding the ammunition that suits the gun. Okay, interesting. Very good little feature. You've got adjustable length of pull, adjustable cheek piece on these two bolts. Magazine loads in from the right and uses the same magazine as the Catram, which is the third rifle we'll get to in a moment. You've got 18 shots in 177, 16 in 22, and 14 in 25. Nice camo as well. This particular cool. one is a multi-layer Cerakote finish and that is something that the factory is going to be offering very, very soon. At the minute, these are special order limited edition rifles. This is the next length up, the Crate L, which has got a 520mm barrel, increase in bottle size to 480cc. But from this point back, the rifle is the same. You've still got the adjustable cheek piece and everything else. This particular rifle has just been fitted with the new style solid stocks. These are brand new, unleashed here at Iwa. And they do look nice. That lovely chunky grip has yeah. a really nice feel to it. It gives a completely different aesthetic to the rifle. Underneath, I don't know if you can capture that, we have got an Anschutz rail. Oh yeah. Which is very handy for accessories. For the standard model, you've got a small Picatinny rail, but that can be removed and fitted with an extended Arca rail. Okay. But the Arca Rail also has an Anschutz where we've put a Picatinny adapter in at the moment. So you can really position your bipod further forward for better support and ergonomics. But you can put it exactly where you want it. So if you want it not quite all the way out, put it there. Or if you want to have more than one accessory, you can put, because you've got a nice long length there, you can have the bipod at the end, stick your torch behind it. It's flexible. Kitchen sink, everything. Absolutely. This is sporting the new laminate grip and cheek piece set. These were announced at BSS just a few days ago. We've also got the optional bag rider fitted, which has a monopod as well, a thumb screw for adjustment. And of course you've got full length of pull, height, everything's adjustable on these so you can make it suitably for yourself. This is the Big Daddy, the Crate X, which 
which has got a 700 mil unchoked barrel. And an FAC in 0.25 or 6.35 millimeter caliber, these go all the way up to 100 joules. So you're putting 73 foot pounds out there. In 2.2, you're looking around about 60 something foot pounds, 80 joules. So there's still plenty of poke. And at that power level, they're still pretty quiet. Right, okay. Half inch UNF, and you can put a mod on there and you'll get a very nice, quiet, but pokey rifle. Right. So, very cool bit of kit. Awesome. And then for the slightly more traditionalists out there, we have the Catran, which, unlike the other two, is a standard rifle as opposed to a bullpup. This particular model is the standard length 400mm barrel, so the same barrel in this as that little Cayman at the top. All right, okay. Despite the fact it's about twice as long. But this is because it's a standard rifle, so you've got your action behind the barrel. Fitted here with the optional magazine holder and solid stock. These are lovely, and again, they just completely change the feel of the rifle. Yeah, yeah. Your standard Catran has a folding stock, which is still, again, fully adjustable. Half inch UNF is standard on all rifles. That is a fluted and baffled shroud. So if you're just doing target work, you could keep it as is, no need for additional moderator, and it's not going to upset your neighbours. Right, yeah. If yeah. you live somewhere really built up, whack a half inch UNF mod on the end, like the new ones we've got over there. We'll show the case those in a moment. And you can make them whisper quiet in sub 12. Very cool bits of kit. Yeah. I absolutely love them. We've then got big boys over here. <laughs> These are the higher power versions which have got longer cylinders and longer barrels. As you can see it's the same basic mechanism. These are HP so they've got a larger plenum. This has got a 50cc plenum and depending on your caliber you can comfortably get uh, from the 400mm barrels in 2.5 about 45 foot-pounds. Right. And this size in 2.2 you can get 55 foot-pounds Without, without any sort of special tuning. That's sort of out of the box power. Wow. That looks a nice saddle, this one. This was a limited edition run for a special client. They are very cool. And again, this one's got the standard folding stock. So you just push the button, stock folds closed, magazine holder integrated in there. That's standard on the guns. Ma magnet holds the stock closed. So out in the field, it's not flipping around. A bit more compact when you're moving around. Then you just flick it out, good to go. Very solid lockup mechanism. There's no play there. No rattle or anything. Yes. No. As it will eventually get some wear to it, there is an adjuster in there to remove that wear. Oh, okay. So they've thought about it. Wow. Okay. And we've had praise from people like Donny at Saber Tactical. Yeah. Because they've got experience with folding stocks, and he's like, "Wow, this hinge is really good." Wow. Oh, cool. so we were very much loving that. Laminate four grips here, which can be chosen to match your existing cheap piece and grip set, are a new addition for this year. And they again just they make it a little bit more traditional looking. Yeah. But you still keep your Picatinny rail at the front there, which is a nice touch. So you don't lose your bipod by fitting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd make a, like a great target rifle, wouldn't it? Yeah. Bench rifle or something. Yes. I, I was getting a message through from a customer just last night who's got the cylinder style, so this style, but this length right. in 177 and he shot his best ever shot card. Wow. So he's very chuffed. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. We've also got me for this year. The Catran SC, which stands for subcompact. Now in the UK this will be six foot pounds because it is a pistol. Oh okay. But if you want a little bit of extra stability, you can just pop the stock on, pop the thumb screw in. You are still a pistol, so you're still six foot pounds, but you've got much more reliability and stability. Yeah, yeah. So it's perfect little rack to that. Is. Absolutely, especially in confined spaces. So if you're a pest controller and you've yeah. got squirrels in someone's loft, I can't think of a better tool. Yeah. Absolutely lovely bit of kit. As you can see, we've also got the new Spartan Air Max bipods, which use the Spartan magnetic attachment system. You can trust me. This is the 
standard length cylinder version and one of the best sellers in the UK. Looks mm. nice in the red, that does. It does, yeah, it's quite eye catching. In Sub 12 177, this rifle would set you back about 180 shot counts. Wow. This is a 300 bar fill. All Air Max rifles have a 300 bar fill. Okay. So they work uh, pretty darn well. Nice. Here you can see an example of where we've got the double bottle adapter fitted. So this is just a standard crate X, like the one with the red grips we saw earlier, but we've changed the single bottle for a double bottle to increase the shot count. Of course, more custom Cerakote work on this one. That does look cool. That is a multi-layer of Cerakote, so it's done baked. Next colour, done baked. Right, to give it like the matte and then the the shiny effect. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. A lot of work's gone into those, but they do look amazing. Yeah, that is awesome. And of course, being Cerakote, it will last. Yeah, it's yeah. Like scratch off in 30 seconds. Cool. Anyone familiar with my channel will know that I'm personally using one of these, which is a Catran CB. Although I've gone a little bit OTT on mine because I've fitted twin bottles, a solid walnut stock, hand polished metal work. I've got my one of a kind silver moderator, which is currently on the crate tail that you're about to review. Yes, I've got that right now, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I like to have shiny toys. Yeah. And why Who not? doesn't? Who doesn't? Exactly. So, awesome. Don't ask me what the standard bottle shot count is because I run out of pellets and enthusiasm and daylight before it runs <laughs> out of there. Right, okay. Which is what you want. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Right, well, cheers for that. Thanks very much.